Hey guys, it's Hacks18, how's it going? Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about searching the internet with pri uh, privacy uh, using SSL. So, every time we want to look something up, something up on the internet, we use a search engine. We use Google, Yahoo, Dogpile, and many others. Some of you may not know this, but they're actually gathering or collecting data information about our search results. The search terms submitted to the search engine uh, gives them the time, the day, and even our location of our computer that is logged and stored on their database from what I've researched. I'm quite sure many of you, including myself, rely on many of these major search engines. Like, I use Google a lot. So, okay, so the information, what do the search engines keep, you may ask? Uh, well, I probably said this before, but they keep your IP address, uh, your personal computer, um, the uh, ad IP address that they trace back to you through a reverse DNS uh, lookup to find your location such as state and city, uh, the date and time, so they take the exact date and time you search for a keyword, query t uh, terms, like the terms that you searched up, will be stored as well. The cookie ID is the, un the unique code that's embedded in the cookie that's assigned to your computer by searching uh, using a search engine. Did you know after clicking on one of the search results given by the search engine that your search terms actually get passed on to the web server's logs as well? Yes, a webmaster will know what search engine search terms that you use to find that site referring you as your IP address to identify you as other data like your web browser type and your operating system that you use all this helps to identify you there is no privacy whatsoever okay so now that you know your privacy isn't safe so what can we do should we go back to looking up stuff manually at the library or calling up for information that's ridiculous right well, there is some security measures you can take. Try using SSL search engines like DuckDuckGo. So, I have DuckDuckGo as my main uh, search engine. Now, um, what is DuckDuckGo? Uh, when you search with DuckDuckGo, they won't know who you are and there is no way they can find your search results. No cookies are stored, no logs are stored at all, and it uses RSA 2048-bit encryption. It puts the result, it pulls the results from Bing and Google with, with search APIs, getting only the results and nothing more. It also has its own web crawler and web, uh, web index as well in config, your own configurations and settings. So, to go there, it's https duckduckgo.com. Now, the next one you could use is isquick.com. Now, isquick was awarded the first Euro European pr uh, privacy seal. It was will not record your IP address and any other data like your search queries that are de deleted from the logs within a maximum of 48 hours or sooner. It uses single anonymous cookies, uh, a cook one cookie to remember the search preferences that you saved from your last visit. It will not use cookies with a unique ID like uh, many other websites do. Um, I uh, IXQuick also lets you configure a built-in proxy and the webmaster server logs will um, only see the uh, L or the IXQuick IP address and not yours. It can also spoof agent IDs and operating systems as well. The URL entries that are present are blank in the server logs. Overall, it's a great website for searching privacy to get the job done. You can use IXQuick or you can use uh, startpage.com 
both are the exact same and work the exact same. So, um, another one is, you might have heard before is Scrooge. Scroogle, I think that's how you pronounce it. And Scroogle, they have an HTTPS as well. Um, I believe it's the SSL, uh, SSL Scroogle.com or dot org. Sorry about that. Um, I typed it wrong. Now, uh, this is, you can search in here, and this is Scroogle. Uh, so ssl.scroogle.org and Scroogle search results are exactly the same ones that you would get with Google but it has privacy without advertisements without sending out any sites to the search terms used and it's not being logged uh, it's not logging the search uh, terms that you've entered it's also doing your IP address from the server within 48 hours um, to give uh, I think I'm gonna get yeah I'm gonna give credit to Dark State IRC. He was a YouTube user have told me about this, and you know this is a great website. Um, this one and I love the DuckDuckGo. Those are great sites. Um, even the Start page that you told me about. Thank you so much for giving me that um, and sharing that. Uh, also, he had told Dark State IRC had also told me that Google SSL is not safe. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to that. And I think it's just encrypted.google.com. And this is what their site looks like, SSL beta. And Google SSL is an encrypted web search is what they say or advertise as. is an end-to-end -end encrypted search solution between computer, your computer and Google only. This will not make you anonymous at all, so you have to know that. But it will stop man-in-the-middle attacks on cat if you go to a CAF or um, to a Starbucks or something. And it will stop your ISP or network administrator from seeing what you're searching for. Although they will not know what sites you visit once you click on the search results. So uh, your browser will not stop sending referral data. And the webmaster of the site that you visit will, will, will know what search terms that you use because they're not secure whatsoever. Google doesn't mention anything about this on their server log or on their website. One can safely, you know, safely assume they will, you know, definitely keep their logs. I am just, you know, mentioning Google SSL search because um, it's, you know, some people may use this and think it's the best. And it's important to know how it works. And I strongly do not recommend using Google SSL. Put it on the bottom of your list, okay? Uh, tips on searching the internet with privacy. Do not accept any major search engine cookies. They might be they might use them to identify you later on. Do not sign up for email at in at the same search engine that you regularly search with. So using your your personal email address can match up your search terms and then that can give them more you know uh, more clues about you it can sum up your uh, they can put all that together all the services that you use to identify you easier uh, delete all your search engine cookies before starting a new result even if it's a uh, privacy uh, an SSL search engine like the DuckDuckGo or the uh, Scroogle, okay? Make sure you clear that stuff up. Um, use VPNs or proxies if you can. Um, you want to change your computer or your in your country IP address um, so that no nothing is out there, you know? you uh, this The goal here is to have the most the highest privacy set, uh, privacy that you can here when you're searching on the internet. Always use HTTPS and SSL if it's available. If there's a website that has HTTPS, like a bank or anything, make sure you use it. That's what it's there for, for security. Uh, check out, uh, you know, what data on your browser, what your browser sends you to your website. You can visit um, 
browse browser spy dot dk so browser spy dot dk and what this site does on the side you can click on the side uh, what is actually being uh, what sites can find about you bandwidth and everything um, if there's exploits on your machine maybe even that even identifies Google Chrome uh, Google apps that you use your network anything uh, proxies I guess it says um, what you know uh, video players that you use any web servers or uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here operating system and it'll tell you exactly you know what operating system that you use um, so you, I use a Mac so it says you're using a Mac on Intel so this site is great to help you learn more about what websites can grab um, another thing that I use was Google SSL or not Google SSL sorry about that uh, Komodo SSL analyzer and I have it right here bookmarked and this is great what I did was you if you find another SSL search engine or website that you want to test for SSL you put it in here for example HTTPS I'm just gonna put encrypted.google.com I'm gonna show you this Google is not safe um, right here uh, 1024 bit that's that's weak and um, it can be cracked now uh, there, however there is no weakness in their ciphers so that's a good thing I know uh, screw uh, Scroogle and um, or Shrugle whatever you want to call it uh, work and I know for a fact that um, that it uses a higher bit encryption it's 2048 as well right here 2048 bit and it does have some insecure options in here in week see so um, it just really depends what you trust honestly after reading a bunch of stuff on the internet about Google's pri privacy settings and stuff like that going around and people saying that they can see your search ter um, terms I don't really trust Google anymore now it's kinda scary if you ask me um, but anyways I'm gonna give you links for the Firefox add-ons so you can use those on your web browsers for IX quick and start page and Shrugel's SSL search uh, add-on as well I'm gonna put it on the video hey thanks guys I appreciate you watching the video and hopefully this answers your questions or helps you out to be more secure on the internet. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.